Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Stampin' Up! here with another video for you. Uh, I wanted to just mention here that uh, it's February now. Um, celebration is still going on uh, till the end of the month to get some free items. And the mini catalog goes through the end of April. So we've still got a lot of time to get some of those items. But time is running out for celebration. It's half over now. So um, if you're interested in getting anything for free, you've got to the end of the month. And I did extend my free card kits for $50 and $100 purchases um, through the month of February. I don't have my web address up here. Um, we had a little mishap and spilled some coffee and I haven't printed it out yet. And my hostess code is also uh, down below is what I've been doing now instead of putting it up here. Um, so anyway, my shop link and my hostess code are both down below in the description. So today, um, I wanted to do a tutorial on this beach card that I made. Um, I did a video a couple weeks ago with Hills of Tuscany cards, and we did this one here. And I also had this one, and I had a request for tutorials for these two cards okay um unless it's really really um something that somebody wants i'm not going to do a tutorial for this one mainly because it's really just a repeat of what i did here okay so all i did was did the same layering as i did on the bottom here and i did this all the way across and all the way up and then I did the same thing with the mountains and then just a little bit of sky. So it's it's really basically the same card. It's just got more trees and it's the other um, configuration. Um, so it's really the basically the same thing. So that's why I didn't want to do a tutorial on this one. But since the beach card is a, a lot different, I decided I would do the tutorial on this. So that's what we're going to do today. So let me show you what we need. All right, so we need our base, which is Coastal Cabana, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter, which I forgot to do. So let me just bring my scoreboard right here and do it so that we've got it done. And this is just at four and a quarter right there. Okay. All right. Then we need, as our afternoon, for the mat, and that is four by five and a quarter. We need a piece of watercolor paper, which is three and three quarters by five. For the inside, we need a piece of basic white, which is four by five and a quarter. And then we need a scrap of watercolor paper um, that we are going to stamp the umbrella and the chair and then cut out the palm tree with, okay? And that's all we need. Except for, of course, we need our Hills of Tuscany, and we also need Beach Day Bundle. And also for these little birds, I am using the birds out of Mountain Air, which is retired. But they've got these little bitty birds here, and that's what I'm going to be using. The other thing we need is scrap paper. We need re-inkers. We're going to be using... Uh, as our afternoon ink pad, but we're going to be using the Coastal Cabana and Crumb Cake reinkers to do um, the ink here. Okay, you don't have to. There's different ways you can do it. Okay, so you don't necessarily need these, um, but they will come in handy, and I'll tell you why in a bit. And we're also going to be using pecan pie and garden green for our. Um, palm tree. So um, you can use the stamp pad and that's probably what I'm going to do with this um, for these two colors and that's a little easier and a little less messy so we'll just do that. <clears throat> so here is our watercolor paper which is what we're going to use first and we need our scrap paper and we're going to use our little um, foam pad underneath because it is a photopolymer set. Actually, I'm going to use the big one so that I have, now I have full coverage here. Okay, 
I gotta try to remember to make sure that I'm looking to make sure I'm on camera because sometimes I get off camera and I apologize for that. Okay, so we are going to need our, as our afternoon, we're going to need a water spritzer. And um, what I forgot to get was my aqua painters. And so I have those here. We're gonna need a couple of those um, just to do our, um, tree in our um a little add add a little color so we'll we'll you'll see that in a minute okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to take our sky stamp okay and we're going to ink that up with as our afternoon and we're going to spray this here so that we've got some uh, bleeding Okay, so we're going to ink this up, and we're just going to stamp. Now, you're going to want some paper towels as well, because you want to daub off some of the excess water. All right, you do want it to bleed in a little bit, all right, <clears throat> for that watercolor look. And then, of course, you can wipe off the excess water off the stamp. And then we're going to stamp again. And maybe offset it just a little bit. And you can also move it to get a little excess in a little area here that wouldn't have been covered. Okay, there we go. So there's our sky. Okay. Now, so I'm going to take my Coastal Cabana and what I'm going to do is I am going to take this stamp here that, um, let me show you on the case, uh, this one here that's kind of like a hillside and we're going to drag that across to make our water, okay? Now you can use the aqua painters and um, you can either put a dot of the reinker inside here, I do that, or you can just use a block and um, dip your aqua painter in and just paint across. But this is really easy. So all you do is just take the ink pad and you're gonna do the same thing that you did here. You're gonna spray, you're gonna ink this up and then just kind of slide it across. See how that puts that ink on there? And you're still going to want to dab off a little bit. And you can continue to do that until you get the desired look. You don't have to keep adding water. You can do this way so that you get a little more color. Add water later or leave it that way. Um, you can spritz it again and daub off. You can drag. Um, you can just do all kinds of things to get that texture that you want or the look that you want. Like I said, you can come back in with your aqua painter and put more color on later if you want to do that. All right, and then for the sand, we're going to take crumb cake. And this time, I'm going to stamp it so that we get a little texture, all right? All right, and then we can add our water. All right, and dab off. But that's still gonna leave like a little bit of a sand look. All right, and you can come back in and just do it again if you want. Okay, so so now this one, I've got it a lot more um, watery looking. This one, I've got a little more texture to it, okay? But it just, they're all gonna be different. Every time you do this, um, do this card, it's gonna be different. So um, as you can see, I didn't really leave a lot of white up here for my sunshine, so I'm probably gonna put the sun down here this time. All right, you can bring in your um, heater here and dry this a little bit so that it will 
you can stamp on it quicker, and I'm gonna do that right now. This way we can start stamping and we don't have to wait for it to dry, okay? Um, actually, I'm not really gonna stamp. I'm gonna stamp, but uh, you know what I got? I forgot to get that, um, my sun out. I thought I had everything out and I didn't. Let me get this little sunshine right here. I don't need a tiny little block. Okay, now for this, I am not going to add water. All right, I'm going to stamp. Um, in my Daffodil Delight, and I'm also going to take, um, I thought I had my pumpkin pie. No, I didn't have pumpkin pie. That was a different card. Wait a minute. Okay, so I'm going to take my yellow, and I'm going to stamp that right there. Okay, now that did not turn out very dark, and that's okay. Um, you can stamp it again. This is photopolymer, so it's easy to stamp right back over the top, make it a little darker. Uh, and then we're going to take the aqua painter, and I'm going to pick up some of this ink that I've got here. Um, I need to get some water coming out of here. Just squeeze very gently until you start getting some moisture here. And this was, there we go. See, and I've already got some yellow in there. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of yellow here. And I'm going to go over it just a little bit more to make it darker. All right. And then I'm going to squeeze out some water here so that it's very light. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and just kind of make it look like the sun rays is coming out away from that sun. Okay. There we go. And you can even add some out a little farther if you want. You just want to make sure that the yellow and the blue don't mix because you don't want it to turn green, okay? All right, so now um, if we want to add more color here, you can take your um, Coastal Cabana ink pad, like I said, and put a re-inker dot here and just get the aqua painter um, this one is dirty, so I've got to get this. I don't want that. Okay. And just pick some of that up and just drag it across. And you can do that to begin with anyway, if you'd like. Uh, it just depends on what look you want and how much color you want. And you can just add more color just to make that look a little bit better. I like that. Okay, so now we can add our birds. Um, let me just dry this just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna come in with our um, Memento Black. And I'm going to take my little birds and, oh my gosh, I forgot to get the birds out. Here, I thought I had everything out, but I think I had put everything away. So here they are. I had put everything away, so I forgot to get them out. I thought I had everything. And this one is a tiny little one. This is so hard to... Um, make sure that it sticks. That's why I have mentioned previously that I keep my um, photopolymer in these plastic because these tiny little ones like this, they are so easy to lose. Um, so I like that security of having that inside um, the plastic. So one thing you wanna make sure that when you're doing the stamp that your birds are right side up they're so small, sometimes you don't pay attention. I stamped my birds up, upside down one time. So I just kind of like to make sure they're going the right way. And now this one, I had it kind of going through the sunshine. And I think I'm going to do that and just put one like right down here. And then maybe put another up here. 
There we go. And then, of course, we need our Sending Sunshine Your Way. And I'm going to stamp that right here. There we go. You could add a few more birds if you wanted to. Um, just make it your own. Um, so I think that looks pretty good. And let me cap this off here. So now on the inside, okay, I have a little bit of sand here with my little um, seagull and some shells. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, um, I'm going to go ahead and stamp that too while we're at it. I'm going to stamp that. And we also need to stamp our um, tree, I mean our umbrella and our uh, chair. Now this is just a scrap just so that um, just for you know show really um, you need to make sure that you've got enough space um, to do all of your cutting I do have a tip for this umbrella stamp um, I tried to make another one of these one time and I made the mistake of trying to put it on like this you don't want to do that see how that curved so when you have this stamp with a little tiny uh, stem or whatever you want to put the big part on first so, and let this just lay naturally so that you're not bending it. So just do that and it will go on perfectly straight. Because if you get it crooked, then when you go to use a die cut, it's not going to cut out. Okay, just so you know that. So we need these two stamps for the watercolor paper. And then we need this little tiny one here that's for the this hilly area here for the inside. So I'm going to do that first. We're going to get the crumb cake. And I'm just going to do a couple little layers on the inside here. And that will just be there we go. And then we need our, our bird and our shells. So for the shells, I actually brought in pecan pie because it's a little bit darker. And again, make sure your stamp is right side up. Put that there. And then I need my tuxedo black again for the bird, our little seagull. And, you know, seagulls usually are a little bit um, black and white. Sometimes they're kind of grayish. So if you'd like, you can bring in the blender pen and pick up a little bit of that black and just kind of blend that in just a little bit if you'd like. Not necessary. I didn't do that on the other card, but that's just an idea. So there's our inside. And I didn't put any sentiment on the inside. I just left it blank so that I can put happy birthday or whatever I want to do. So I can set these two things aside now. And then we're going to uh, stamp these. And so I need my tuxedo black again. So I'm going to stamp my umbrella and my chair. Okay. Now, then what we're going to do is we are going to take the beach, beach day bundle, okay, and you need to line these up. So we've got the die for this. You can fussy cut these, but you know, um, I'm a big fussy cutter um, when it comes to things, but with this little bitty um, pieces here that's hard to fussy cut out so that's why I went ahead and used the die and as you know if you follow my channel you know I hate white edges so I'm going to show you what I did to remedy that all right so anyway cut these out and if you line all of this up at once you can just run it through your machine once okay so you can get all of your your um, palm tree pieces on as well oh my gosh 
I'm not going to run this through right now anyway. I already did it. So anyway, just line them up. Run them through. Okay. Probably didn't even need to show that because you know how to do that. But it's just showing you. Line them up. Run it through. Okay. And I've got my little pieces right here. Okay. So we have our umbrella and our chair and um, the palm tree. We're going to do that next. Okay. Um, actually, no, we're going to do these next. So I do not, I've been having some problems with my, um, Stampin' Blends lately. Okay. I've got about four of them that have come apart and, um, let me see if I can show, I'm not sure if, if I can remember which colors they were. I wanted to show you. Um, pumpkin pie is definitely one of them. Um, I put the tape on there to remind myself. Um, this is just coming completely apart. Um, I contacted Stampin' Up! and unfortunately they haven't been recalled. They're, um, but I don't know what to do about it. Um, they're too old to be replaced for free. So that's why I'm not using, um, always using them. I don't have all the colors anyway. But um, so for these, I don't have a good blue and red. So that is why I am using my um, these Firefly markers. But you can use any kind of marker. Um, I am using alcohol markers. You could use the um, watercolor if you wanted to. Um, but anyway, so I just went and colored these in. And I should have done that ahead of time, save a little time, but I didn't. So I'll try to do it quickly without making a mess. You know me, I try to keep my videos uh, short and I should have colored these ahead of time and I didn't. Plus I try not to get too close and hopefully I'm doing an okay job coloring. All right, so there's the blue. And then come in with the red. And there we go. Okay, and then the chair. I'm going to do that in red as well. I think I might have used a different red on my original card. I don't think this is the one I had. But it goes pretty well with this blue. I didn't write down what color I used, so that's why it's not the same. Anyway, so now that I've got that done, let me show you what I did. Around this card here, you will notice that it's not white around the edge. So I went through and colored um, around the edges with the crumb cake and then the coastal cabana. I don't have coastal cabana actually, um, but I do have pool party and that just blended in just perfect. So what we need to do is see exactly where we're going to put these on our card. Okay. I'm going to put that about right here. And unfortunately my son, I didn't even think about the fact that my tree is going to go down here and it's going to cover some of that up. So my card is going to be screwed up i didn't even think about that but that's okay it'll be all right sometimes the sunshine goes through um, the tree so um, i didn't think about that at the time but anyway so we need crumb cake it goes all the way around this chair here okay There we go. And now, when we put that on our sand, it's not as noticeable. Okay. And then we do the same thing with this up to about here. All right. And then I'll take the pool party around the rest of it. I 
And Pool Party and Coastal Cabana are very, very similar, so um, this works pretty well. And you can go over it multiple times to make it a little darker if you want. There we go. And so that is just going to go over, over our water, just like that, okay? Yeah, so I'm not sure what this tree is going to look like once I get it on there. Um, I may want to put more birds on there or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll fix it. So for the tree, what I did is I did use the aqua painters for the tree because I wanted them to look watercolory. Now with these, I didn't wanted to make sure they didn't blend in and um, bleed. So that's why I used uh, markers for those. But the trees, it doesn't matter because there's no stamping on them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take my um, garden green and my pecan pie. Let me do pecan pie first. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the reinker and just put a dot in there. I don't need very much. And I'm going to take a, an aqua painter here. Make sure that it's not getting color out. See, that's kind of red. Probably doesn't matter um, with pecan pie, but we'll just do that anyway. And I'm just going to pick up the ink and just paint over the trunk like that. Now, you can get rid of some of the water and come in and make it darker and add water again later if it's too dark. So there's that, okay? Super easy to do. The thing I love about these aqua painters is all you have to do is just squeeze and wipe and then they're clean and you can use them on another color. So that's very convenient. So now the garden green, I'm gonna do the same thing for our leaves here. And get some water going here. Okay, come on. I'm almost out of water, but it should be coming out. There we go. Okay. And I've already got green on that one, so that's good. I don't want a lot of water, but I do want some. And I'm just going to color over that. Like I said, the less water you use, the darker it will be. And with these cut lines, you want to make sure that you get, um, get the color inside those as well. All right. There's one. And I may need to add more reinker to this. This doesn't look like it's got a lot there. So let me get the garden green. Let's put a dot in there. Okay. Get that a little darker. There we go. And then the other one's probably gonna need to be a little darker now too. So that they look the same. There we go. Okay, there's that. All right. So now we can let those dry and we can start assembling um, the rest of our card while these are drying. So I will get my Coastal Cabana and get that folded up here and you do want to use um, your uh, bone holder make sure you get a good crease and of course the as our afternoon is going to go on here like so okay um, but I am going to put this on first because I'm going to use tear and tape, and then I'm probably going to use tear and tape on this as well, just depends on how well that goes. Um, this, since it curls, I do like to use the tear and tape because I think it, I just think it goes on flatter and it doesn't warp quite as much. Okay. And then, of course, we have our inside too. So we're going to glue that on, glue that in first.
You know, and anytime I'm making a card, you can make your card any shape you want. If you wanted to um, do the uh, four and a quarter uh, fold up, you know, so that it, it opens up, you can do that instead of the five and a half by eight and a half. You can do four and a quarter by 11 and score it at five and a half so that it opens up. You can always change that if you like that uh, style better. Um, that's just something to throw out there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these on while we're waiting on our tree. And hopefully that will be dry by the time um, we get done here. And I didn't pop dot. I just glued it on. So I'm just going to do that and just need a tiny little glue here. I don't want too much. Not really sure if that's getting on there or not. There we go. All right, just make sure that's lined up like we colored it. And then we need our little chair here. There we go. Okay, so now like I said, we need our tree here, and this is fairly dry. I think it's dry enough. So now I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, I could put it up a little higher. Um, let's get our palm tree assembled first. Um, just line these up, and I just put a little dot of glue in the middle of which other one is coming on the top here. Oops, that's probably too much. And put that right on top. That's going to be too much glue. Okay. And we can just swipe the excess off. There we go. All right, so if I put it up like that, that's not so bad. Um... I don't want this to hang off too much. I could put it up that way. That looks pretty good. I think that's what I'll do. All right, so just have to angle it a little bit different. That's all right. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing, just to glue this on. If I can get it to come out. I think my glue bottle's getting a little low. Um, the last time I tried to refill it, it um, as you know, if you're a follower of my channel, um, I don't use the Tombow glue. And this is just um, refilled with my scotch, and I tried to uh, refill it, and it flew out all over the place. <clears throat> it bubbled up, and it made a big mess. I'm still finding glue on things. Um, so it was kind of kind of funny in a way, but... Kind of annoying also anyway so i think that that's probably going to need to be refilled i didn't quite line that up the way i wanted to but this can hang off just a little bit because we have our as our afternoon it's going to go around and then of course the card base is even bigger than that so that just is just fine okay there we go. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my tear and tape. And like I always say, I like the bigger one, the wider one. I just like the way it works. All right. All right, and then of course, if you want, um, you can come in with your bone folder and just press that down a little bit to make sure that it's good and adhered. And then we can get this put on. Mm 
Okay. There we go. All right, now that was looking cute. And then see how this is still warping just a little bit? So that's why I'm gonna use Sharon tape again, rather than glue. And you could also put tear and tape down the middle if you'd like. Um, you just have to be careful when you're putting it on. If you do like I do, that going around the edge, that's easier. You don't have to worry about it sticking where you don't want it to stick until you get it lined up. However, um, if you want to make sure that it doesn't warp, you can put a little extra in the middle. Um, and then, of course, again, let's go along the edge. There we go, and this just about completes my card. Okay. Now you can also turn your card this way, and that sometimes is easier to get a good look at what you've got all the way around the card. And then, I just got it lined up here, and here we go. There we go. And there's our card. So like I said, it did turn out a little bit different, but that's okay. This is um, the beauty of card making. Um, they're always going to turn out different. Even if you make um, a lot of the same card, a lot of times they are going to turn out a little different. Um, and that's kind of good. The other thing I did, I did not do this yet. Um, I brought in my crumb cake marker and I did put a little bit more color around the base of these um, pieces here to make them look like they're kind of in the sand. And you can also come in with that blender pen and just kind of blend them in a little bit more. There we go, there we go. So it just doesn't look like it's just sitting there on top. And there we go, that's our card. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, we've got the end of the month um, to still get our um, celebrations. I wanted to show you something. I don't know if anyone's seen this or not. Um, I did not order, I mean, I've gotten so much stuff out of here for free, but this is the one thing that I did not get. And the reason is because I don't like the way this watermelon is shaped. That's not the way a watermelon is shaped. So I said, yeah, I'm never going to use it. Well, guess what? I've seen people using this to make pizza slices, and I thought, what a genius and so now I want this, so I'm going to have to order, place another $50 order so I can get this set, so I can use this as pizza slices. I thought that was a genius. Um, but like I said, there are beautiful things. This paper in here, light and airy, um, just some of the stuff is just gorgeous. And um, uh, it's just a lot um, that you can get for free. Anyway, that's what my plan is. I'm not going to be ordering a lot more, probably just a $50 order just to get my watermelon set here. And um, I probably won't more order more until we can pre-order for the new annual catalog, which will be coming out in May. So anyway, that is it for today. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and keep tuning in if you have not uh, subscribed, uh, hit the subscribe button if you like my videos and hit the little bell button so that you don't miss a video. And of course, um, give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. That helps my channel. And of course, commenting always helps my channel. And uh, I appreciate all my comments, likes, and subscribers. And so that is it for today. Have a great day and God bless. Bye-bye.